Hi, I'm Rudy Winston from Canon USA. In this video, we're going to talk about the broad AF area coverage in the EOS 7D Mark II and ways that you can use this feature to your advantage in different kinds of photography. The greatest single benefit that it gives you is tremendous compositional flexibility, especially if you're shooting moving subjects in AI Servo AF. There are a lot of times people use center focus point and simply lock focus and recompose, and that works beautifully with a stationary subject. But with a moving subject, this camera does not lock you in to any one particular composition. Now, there are a couple of different ways you can think about using the actual autofocus on this camera. One is to think about using broad area autofocus, where you're focusing with a large area of the focusing system. The obvious example here is automatic AF point selection, where all the points are active. Now in one shot AF, this camera works exactly the same as previous EOS cameras. All the points are active, you bring the camera to your eye and touch the shutter button halfway, and the camera will focus on the nearest subject or subjects that it sees in the finder, and the points will indicate which one that is in the viewfinder. But with AI Servo AF, you now have some significant new advances here that make automatic point selection a go-to setting in some situations with certain kinds of moving subjects. One of the reasons is the metering system in this camera. The actual light metering in the EOS 7D Mark II is a 150,000 pixel metering sensor with RGB and IR sensitivity. The camera, when you focus on something, the metering system knows not only where you're focusing initially, but it knows the size of your subject, the color, and the basic shape of your subject. And as the subject moves across the scene, the metering system gives the focusing system information about where to move the focusing points. So automatic point selection in a lot of situations where you have a moving subject, think about something like a bicycle or a car meandering through an S-curve. You can now start to focus on, on a subject in one composition and hold that composition while the subject moves through the frame. Automatic point selection now becomes an interesting option in those kind of situations. Another broad area option that you have is the new wide zone AF. We haven't had this before in an EOS camera. You have a choice in wide zone AF of three separate zones, center, left, or right, and with those, you now have a cluster of points, a large cluster of points, where the camera in servo or one shot is going to focus on the nearest subject that you have. So for things like motorsports, where you may want to focus on the front leading edge of a car or a motorcycle, uh, this is going to be actually another very interesting option for you, particularly if you have subjects that are not only coming at the camera, but that are moving laterally across the frame as well. Now the other way you can think about using the wide area focusing system on this camera is to use a single focusing point and to move it anywhere you want in the 65 point focusing array. You have different AF area options and these are one of your keys. You can start of course manually moving a single focusing point. You can change the size of that point to a spot point or you can expand that point to add four points around it so you have a movable cluster of points. You can have eight points surrounding it or you can use the traditional zone AF where you have a smaller area than that wide zone AF but you also are going to be focusing on the nearest subject within that group of focusing points and that can work with servo or with one shot. There's a lever on the back of the camera, the AF area select lever that if you just give it a little push changes that. And by default, you have to press the AF point select button first. But I'm going to suggest that if you use this camera, go into your custom functions and in the custom controls, change the operation of the AF area selection lever to direct AF area selection. Now, with the camera at your eye, if you simply press that lever with the camera awake, you'll toggle through each of the different AF area options, single point, spot, AF point expansion, even to automatic point selection. One of the challenges when you manually pick a focusing point and are moving it yourself is how do I quickly get from one place to another? How do I quickly get from center to off center? How do I quickly get from left to right? And the answer is some of the features in the camera. 
One of the features I suggest you try is Multi-Controller Direct. The Multi-Controller is the eight-way joystick, if you will, on the back of the camera. In your custom controls, there is an option to use to have multi-controller direct so that with the camera awake, all you have to do is just push it in one direction, left, right, diagonally, up, down, and you can manually move your focusing point during shooting. Another that I highly suggest users consider is the orientation linked AF, which is in the AF menu. This is going to allow you to manually select a single focusing point for your horizontal shots, and that can be in the center or off center. Turn the camera vertically and select a different point for your vertical shots. And again, it can be off center or whatever. Now, once you've memorized those two points, when you have the camera held horizontally, the camera will go to the point that you selected for horizontal shots. Simply turn the camera vertically and it'll automatically switch to the point that you just suggested. And if you've activated the multi-controller direct, as I suggest you do, if you just simply push the multi-controller straight in, it'll jump you back to the center. Push it again, you go back to the point that you were. It's a great way to move quickly around the AF area. Now, some of the situations where this broad AF coverage can be very useful for you would be things like if you're shooting birds in flight or wildlife, things that are moving unpredictably. You can focus with a broader area uh, with the automatic point selection or the wide zone AF, and you're not constrained with having to keep a single focusing point on an erratically moving subject. Another situation might be for people that are using a tripod, whether you shoot landscapes or portraits or whatever. Uh, you don't always want to have the center focusing point and then you decide, oh, I want to refocus on something and have to move the tripod. Uh, that messes up your composition. Why not just simply pick a different focusing point? Things like motorsports, we mentioned that. Sports any kind of action situation, even portraits and fashion, it makes it so easy to simply put a focusing point right on the eye of a portrait subject, whether you're holding the camera horizontally or vertically, and to get the focus you want without having to lock focus and recompose. There are a lot of neat features to take advantage of here in terms of how you can focus over a broader area than we've ever had possible with any previous EOS camera.